in preparation for this video, um, I couldn't help but get the song Ice Ice Baby out of my mind. You'll see how the, that's relevant in a second. But guys, I, I can't tell you how many times I hear people ask me if I should be icing or heating um, a nerve, muscle, or bone issue. So they got neck pain or let's say elbow or shoulder pain and they, they don't know what to do, right? So here's the deal. In many parts of the world, heat is the go-to on um, injuries. And for other parts of the world, ice is the, the go-to choice, okay, for, for injuries. But the truth is they're both important. And sometimes one is more important the other than the other. But the only way to know, besides the obvious one, okay, so if you got a big swollen um, injury, you don't want to heat it, you go to ice. Okay, but if your shoulder's sore, your neck is sore, your back is sore, but you can't see any obvious swelling or any obvious redness, all right, the question is which one's more important? Well, here's the deal. When you ice, you reduce inflammation, but you increase muscle tension and stiffness. When you heat, you reduce muscle stiffness or stiffness in general and tension, but you increase inflammation. So here's what you do. Let's say your shoulder's hurting you, you would take an ice pack or a heating pad, whichever you prefer to start with, okay? Let's say you prefer heat, so you go 50 minutes of heat and then you go 50 minutes of ice. Repeat, 15 minutes of heat, 15 minutes of ice, and a third time, back to back to back if possible. Of course, if you have a little break between the pair, fair enough, okay? But you do that and then you ask yourself afterwards, which one helped and which one didn't. If one clearly helped you, so let's say the ice clearly helped you, but the heat made it worse, then you, I would stick to the ice, 15 minutes of ice, 15 minutes of rest on the second time. So you, take, so you did the first trio to learn, and then maybe before you go to bed, you, you just stick to the one that helped you. So 15 ice, 15 rest, 15 ice, 15 rest, and a third time. And if heat helped you and ice clearly made it worse, you would do the opposite. It would be 15 minutes of heat, 15 minutes of rest, repeat three times. If you're not sure which one helped you, they both seem to make a difference, continue with both. All right? You can do that up to, I mean, you can do it, I would do it a minimum of once a day. All right? But you can do that up to three, four times a day. In fact, I have patients that when they see results with one or both, they do it like, let's say once as soon as they get up, once before bed, and maybe two to three times in between. You can't overdo it, okay? Just make sure that you're not putting it directly over the skin, the ice and heat, okay? Uh, make sure there's, you're using either a towel, a paper towel, a Kleenex, or it's over your clothes, okay? So you don't, you don't get any, any type of burns. Um, and that's it, just, just continue to, to pay attention to which one's helping you. And anytime you have an injury, before you get to a healthcare professional, I would go to the ice and heat. If you went to see, okay, a medical doctor, an orthopedic surgeon, a neurologist, any, you know, th these kind of uh, medical professionals who I deal with on a regular basis, lovely people, th what they would do, they may make, give you these recommendations, but their go-to items would be non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, right, and muscle relaxant, right, maybe with a painkiller. But the idea is they too are addressing the inflammation and the muscle tension. And for us as chiropractors, most spinal problems, most joint problems have at least these three components. A nerve component, which is why you're experiencing the pain, an inflammatory component, which ice or anti-inflammatories will help with, and a muscle component, which muscle relaxers and of course heat will help with. Okay guys? Now, in, I think I'll do a video on the different, the different choices to make as to whether you should take meds or not and whether you should use ice or heat. Um, but I hope this, this helps you a lot. Ice and heat are both very important. There's no one right answer, okay? Um, so you gotta just figure it out for yourself. And not only does it vary from person to person, guys, it varies from episode to episode and from body part to body part. You can actually respond really well to, uh, let's say, a neck complaint that just happened recently with ice, but the low back complaint that is also happening may respond better to heat. Only way to know, 15 ice, 15 heat, Repeat three times.